Welcome back to Normal Guy Games. For this week, I'm going to be showing you how I painted this guy. This is the Enra. Enera. Enera. Okay, let's try that again. Hello there, and welcome back to Normal Guy Games. This week, I am going to be showing you how I painted this guy, the Enera boss for Hamatsu. This one, I actually, I didn't think this was going to turn out very well because I was kind of experimenting with wet blending and then overlaying some colors and whatnot. But honestly, I feel like it turned out really, really good. So uh, let's have a look at it. Let's let's get down to it. So next up is the Inera. Inera? You know, the thing. So anyway, I started off with uh, a couple of different colors that I, I blended here. Um, I used uh, the Monument Hobbies, of course. I've been obsessed with Monument Hobbies paints lately. I started off with Dark Jade, Payne's Gray, and then I slowly worked myself up to lighter grays on the topmost areas. Now, what I was doing here, of course, as you can see, is another series of wet blending and with a model like this where it's all smoke it's surprisingly a lot easier than I thought it was going to be I, I thought I was going to struggle with this a little bit but to tell you the truth the model is so well sculpted that the details separate themselves quite well and it's fairly easy to get the result that you're looking for by doing a little bit of wet blending here so I worked my way up through uh, Eshin Gray, all the way up to Celestra Gray, Wolf Gray, all of the grays that I've used in the previous videos and, you know, for, for wet blending and stone and grays and things like that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just hitting the topmost areas with that, with those lighter grays. And if it looks a little bright, that's okay because we're going to darken that down a little bit when we get the recesses. What I'm looking for here is I'm looking for those dark greens and blues in the deeper recesses in the lower areas. And then the lighter grays up on the topmost, all the way up to almost a white color. Now, like I said, if it looks a little bit bright, that's okay. So I did go back, as you can see here with this blue, and I did go back and uh, do some of the darker recesses to sort of put that dark blue back in those spaces. And if it looks a little bit sloppy here, that's fine, because like I said, we're going to pull this all together. Now what I did here, uh, I actually was a little bit... Um, I was worried that this was going to ruin the paint job, but what I'm doing here is, is I don't know what the actual term for it is, but I'm overlaying that gray, uh, the Eshin or the Dawnstone gray paint over top of the topmost areas to make it look almost like smoke. And what I'm looking for again is I'm looking for those dark blues and greens in the recesses while the grays are on the top to make it look like this is some sort of creature coalescing out of the smoke. Now, this actually, as I said, I, I was, I was kind of worried that it would make the, the model look weird, but in this particular instance, because we are painting up smoke or some sort of like supernatural fog with a creature in it, it actually turns out really, really well. And I'm, I'm going here with uh, those same grays that I use to blend everything to kind of pull all of this together. So I went from that dark gray to a lighter gray and I'm just doing the very very topmost areas and, and actually this is a very thin down gray as well so it, it is going to puddle and kind of run in a few places and that's okay I kind of want that to be I want it to be a formless mass that is kind of coalescing into the underlying creature that of course I'm having a hard time pronouncing for whatever reason but as you can see here, I'm letting that gray dry and then I'm just going right back over it to, to make those topmost areas really, really bright. And the brightness level is up to you. You could push this a little further even if you wanted. Now, the next step once all that is dry is to drop Nuln Oil on it. And what this does is brings out all of those details in the recesses and whatnot. Make sure you don't let it pull anywhere. You just want it to run into the into the recesses, into those those sculpted lines, and you want it to help define 
the smoke itself and all of the uh, the smoke cloud and and the features of the monster so the known oil it does the newest known oil i'm kind of not too fond of it it does dry a little bit glossy but in this particular instance because this is smoke i think it makes the overall effect look kind of cool so I'm, I'm taking care to redistribute any large pools of known oil here just to make sure that I don't have an excess amount in any one spot. If a little bit pools on the base, that's not a problem. We're going to cover that later. That's cool. But um, moving on, I took uh, some of that lighter gray paint. Uh, this is wolf gray. And what I'm doing is I'm just picking out a couple of those areas that stand out like the nose here so you can see his features uh, some of the facial you know sculpting uh, corners of the um, of the smoke curls and some of the tops of the smoke itself and what I'm what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of bringing out those topmost details to make them stand out just a little bit as if they're reflecting some sort of light and that helps to redefine everything after that known oil coat has darkened it down. Now, of course, first uh, for the uh, for the base, I went with uh, the Citadel uh, Sterling Battlemire and a dry brush and a lighter dry brush, and then went with some grass and tufts. And honestly, um, after all of that is finished. It looks really good. I'm, I'm I'm actually quite happy with the way this turned out. Like I said, I wasn't sure about that overlaying that I was doing with the gray paint, but I think it turned out really, really well. Anyway, so uh, this is this turned out really good. I like the I like the paint job. I like the way it's going to look on the table. And uh, so yeah, that's it. That's pretty easy, simple. Thanks for watching, and I uh, appreciate it. And we will see you on the next video.